Hey y'all. I guess that's that's just what I say. I start every vlog saying, hey y'all. And that's that's just what I do. That's what I say. So hey y'all. <laughs> It is Friday night, and for a lot of people, Friday night means pizza night, but tonight here on this farm, it means steak night, and I get lots of questions online about how I cook my steaks, because I typically cook them in the cast iron skillet, and that's what I'm going to do tonight. But first, I got to go out here in the barn and get the meat, so stay tuned. We're going to see how this goes. Hopefully, vlogging it will not be a total disaster. Okay, here we go. Welcome to my very messy kitchen with really terrible light. When I turn it around, you're probably not going to be able to see my face, but maybe that's better. It's been a long day. So, we have our nice little helper wants to help. We have our steaks, four ribeyes, and I thawed them out. Disclaimer, get in front of the light. Disclaimer, this is the way I cook my steaks, okay? Does that mean it is the best way? Maybe not. It works for us. Does that mean it is the right way? Maybe not, but it works for us. Works for me. They're good, aren't they, Austin? Yes. So, this is what I do. And 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it turns out really good. I know different people have different methods and I'm just kind of a um, do things the easiest way, but the best way that tastes good. And I mean, I'm not gonna mess around with my steaks. I'm not gonna ruin them. I mean, hopefully not ever. That would be worth crying over. Anyway, so what I do is I just season my steaks with like garlic, salt, and pepper usually. Or this, I bought this stuff. It's called mixed up salt. So that just kind of fits my life in a lot of ways. And it's basically like a mix of, um, yeah, I love the peanut gallery there. Uh... I don't, I don't even know what it is. It's salt, herbs, and spices. Whatever. It's like garlic and stuff. So, I put this on my steaks. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Whatever. I probably get a little heavy-handed. Just what I do. And I'll do that on both sides. Okay. But the key ingredient, like the star besides the steak, is, wait for it, butter. Okay. Butter does make everything better, right? Mm -hmm. Butter makes everything better. I even sell a towel. Do I have one? Oh, it's really dirty. It's really dirty. Butter makes everything better. I sell those. I'll drop a link. Buy one for your wife for Christmas. She'll thank you and I'll thank you. But anyway, okay, so butter. I put butter in my pan. I'll show you that in a sec. I haven't turned it on yet. And there you go. And we're cooking with gas. Gas is amazing. Gas rocks. And I'll let that melt. I usually put it on like medium high. I let that melt. And then I'll show you what I do. Melt, butter, melt. Melt, butter, melt. <laughs> All right. The kids can get involved. They can do this. Mm hmm It's probably good. Okay, once the butter is hot and melted, let's put our steaks in here. This is my Mac Daddy 
skillet. This is my biggest one that I have. But it fits four ribeyes great. It does not fit four T-bones. Tried that last week. No. But this works perfect. So, I'll let them cook until I see blood. That's what I do. I don't know if that's right. My husband has this little thing he does where he like pushes them and it's like this test where you push it and you can test it with your nose and your cheek and your chin for doneness but I've never been able to master that so I just look for blood when the blood starts to come up then I know it's time for me to flip and I always put more butter more butter makes it better more butter makes it better you gotta you gotta teach your kids these things young and let them cook that way all right okay we'll be back okay y'all it's just right it's just right pink hello yeah most unprofessional cooking video ever but hopefully you got the gist that anybody can do this it is not hard and if you've never pan fried a steak I think you should. It's good, y'all. It's like on time good. And that's all, folks.